Hey filmmakers, Shungni here. In this video, we're going to show you how I do my cross zoom transition. Which is that. So that is a uh, transition that is called a cross zoom. So it actually zooms in and zooms out. And because it's really quick, you it looks like it's just makes a quick transition but it's in the middle it's just a hard transition but um, yeah this is different from the standard cross zoom effect that you have that is standard inside the transitions here so this cross zoom so let's turn off the adjustment layer here and we're going to show you how the normal cross zoom work okay. so this is normal cross zoom and that is really slow if I'm and it also does not let me shorten it so that is really slow I'll check if I can shorten it by right there Off of that, but it's it's a very linear, uh, yeah. Our transition is a quite of a linear, so it doesn't like increase speed. It has like a constant speed, which makes it really odd. Comparing to like. This it has like it actually go becomes very quick. So if we look into the setup here, it actually instead of having a straight line, it actually has a curvature of how it transitions. So for this, we're going to make a new one instead of showing you just the original so for this to make it easier instead of having to keyframe both of the video and also easier to just drag and drop so we make an adjustment layer and it only has to be three frames from one side and then three frames from the other side So, and then go to effects, do scale, or change, or transform. one end make it uniform so that it's uh, you don't have to change both of the settings you can actually make the skill like not you uh, yeah not be uniform but personally I like it to be uniform and it's much easier so make a to set here to and here we want to go into 200 which is enough so right now it's just very linear it's actually not bad because it is a quick transition and to make it a bit more pleasant to look at we can actually it's here and make this into a bezier. We can pull this and then also from 
this side make a bezier That I need to add one more, so it's slightly easier. So right now, do a quick render. Right now it's a much nicer. <coughs> it's much nicer and it has like it start off slow and then quickly zoom in and, and smoothly zoom out instead of being much linear. So this is how I do cross zooms and you just have to uh, do this once and then you can actually save a preset. So you can do this and then. Just select this is already made. Save preset called cross zoom. And yeah, you only have to save the scale of it. And pretty much you can drop drag and drop it onto a um, yeah adjustment layer and put it over top of your video and you can easily also just copy this over to another only you have to look out it is like on three frames before so now it can do the same here instead of being a hot transition so that was today's quick tip of doing a cross zoom. So hopefully you find this quite interesting and useful. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.